I'm young for that. Well, no. I'll tell you, Carmel wanted to impress my funeral antics last week. Well. I went into all the gate. Ended up getting stuck to a bar. Ha! 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 five minute job. I can get out of it for about two days. Any word from them, no? No, no word from them. I, I, I said I let things settle down. <laughs> see, see how it goes. You know, cause I, I came home out of it then and Carmel said, I suppose you didn't get paid either. I said, look, there was a woman after dying. <laughs> Have a bit of respect. Have a bit of respect. I had to pay my respect. She said, no, you didn't even know her. I said, look, it's not all about who you know, (laughs) Carmen. (laughs) (laughs) Just because I'm not one of them, uh, a mocha man. A what? You know what to be at? Who? Drinking cafe au lait and walking around with a jumper around their neck. (laughs) You know, small men in big cars talking about... (laughs) Fucking whatever, golf and all these lads around town, you know. Are you on about like mocha as in like mocha, like the coffee? Drinking. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a mocha man, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't speak Americano. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm not cool anymore. Oh, maybe, yeah. Just, you know what I mean? I've been to Cap White and Cap Moore and never been to Cappuccino. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was inside No Connors one day in the shop and I heard a woman shouting at me. Flat white. I said, look, I'm not getting into racism with you now. <laughs> oh. I have time. I just want a cup of tea. <laughs> Them rich lads, all outside the cafe. They'll all be outside Starbucks below. Starbucks. Yeah. Do you know Paddy Hollywood? No. <laughs> Where's the sunglasses? And Johnny Jag. You know Johnny heard the Jaguar? Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. Them two fucking sponge cakes be sitting around outside drinking coffee. <laughs> sponge cake? Nothing to be doing. <laughs> I went there well, past Monday and, and he said to me, ask me if I like skiing. Skiing? I said, who, you're skiing? <laughs> yeah. In the quad? I said, grand, yeah. <laughs> He's some man in the calculator. You want to see Jersey skiing typing by? There used to be numbers coming out everywhere. Huh? I said, I didn't see much of them since you got the knee done. But they were laughing then. Now, I didn't know if they were laughing with me or laughing again me. Yeah. But someone backed the trailer into the Jaguar that day anyway. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, last week when I got caught up in the session, but I, yeah. was, I was supposed to go for a walk with the grandchildren. Okay. Up the mountain. You know, I'm going beyond that. I took them to the field and we hurled away anyway. Yeah, that's nice. I didn't want the grandchildren wrap me out. <gasps> Little Billy. <laughs> Little Billy says, Granddaddy took us to the field, Nanny. I said, shut up, you fucking snitch. Right? <laughs> and then, then Carmel's like, oh, why didn't you go up the mountain like they asked? I said, it was gone. <laughs> the mountain? <laughs> yeah, it was gone. <laughs> she said, where was it gone? Where'd it go? I said, erosion. <laughs> it's a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be safer down the field. <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, huh? Yeah, huh? yeah. Anyway, huh? <laughs> look, I had a quiet news week, so okay. I'm going to bring, bring him back to quiz. Oh, yes. Okay. Come on. Now, do you want to go first or second? I'll go first. Okay, well. Uh, okay, I'll go second. First, okay. No, no, no. Uh, hedge Martin. <laughs> you you know the hedge. The hedge Martin. Yeah, the big head of hair now. You know. So all the Martins are the same with the yeah, hair. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You know <laughs> Well, his daughter, Megan, anyway, right. Megan Martin, she have a new jockey, yeah. a new bull, <laughs> a new pilot, <laughs> okay. a saddle merchant, <laughs> a new cowboy in town. She's a wife, right? Yeah, okay. I got but that. The question is, where she's having sex with this lad, anyway, right? <laughs> 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 where is the new boyfriend from? Okay. Is it A, France, B, Drangen? C, Iraq, or D, Clanmel. There's, there's no good answer. I'd say it's really. a, a, yeah, it's a, I'd, I'd say Clanmel. It's not Clanmel. <laughs> it's France. Okay, it's French. Wow. Yeah, would you believe it? Yeah. I know typical shit housery from the Martins again. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> Maureen, over to you. Okay. Your first question. How did I know? Hedge Martin's <laughs> daughter's new fella was from France. Was it A? He tried to shift me. 
<laughs> B, he had no socks on. <laughs> C, he was on a bicycle. Or D, he spoke with a thick French accent. Uh, I'm guessing D. Why didn't D? I didn't actually get to talk to him at all. <laughs> Was I was it? only borrowing a sprayer from Martin, <laughs> but I didn't see him. But uh, no, it, it was it was B. He was wearing some sort of loafer shoe, and it was no sign of a sock. Okay, okay. So I mean, that's normal. You don't have to be Sherlock Jones. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> As Dolly Parton used to sing, "If you don't know, now you know." I think that was so. <laughs> Nigel. Nigel. Yeah. <laughs> now back to you, Johnny Stacks. Mm. Kit Kat Walsh. <laughs> he does nothing. <laughs> Every time you look at him, he's taking a break. Brilliant. Huh? Yeah. The question is, what happened to his sprayer? Was it A, his dog Deirdre ate it? <laughs> B, it blew away? <laughs> C, a mystery for the ages? Or D, I have it? I'd say D, you have it. Very perceptive of you. <laughs> Sherlock Jones. <laughs> but I, I couldn't I couldn't find Hedges one. Oh, you do have it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> but, and I didn't want to go over to talking to John Claude or whatever his name is. So uh, I used to think Kit Kat had a twin. Yeah. That's where he got the name. Because oh, there, there was two of them. Yeah, but it turns out your man is a, what do they call it, a Google, a Google miser, is it? Huh? Do you know like when someone is the head off him but no relation? A doppelganger. Oh, doppelganger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what's, what, did I, what did they say? A goo oh, that's, that's a beer, isn't it? I don't fucking know what. I wouldn't be able to speed all them craft beers. <laughs> no. Dirty otters and fucking sexy badger stout. <laughs> Paddy Hedgehog's rocket cider. All that stuff. I'm reading that. As Chris de Berg used to sing, you'd be as well have to check yourself <laughs> so you don't wreck yourself. Do you know? Which Christopher sounds like? I don't know. <laughs> An old one. As a fact. Maureen, back to you. Okay. Johnny Stacks is going to pint up now. I know. Scan your Barry. <laughs> A.K.A. Barry Bork, the king of the road. <laughs> Why did they call him the king of the road? Because he never leaves the fucking yard. Right? <laughs> he washes their trucks, you know, but that's not the question. The question is... Maureen, why did Barry go to Bansha? <laughs> was it A? Barry was getting bacon from Brendan the Butcher on Bansha. Was it B? Barry was getting bread from Billy the, ba- the Baker on Bansha. <laughs> was it C? Barry was getting a beach bench from Big Bob. And, <laughs> 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 and the beach block by doing the, <laughs> the beach block. Doing the timber. Or was it D, a court order? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go with C, no. I'd say go with T, Maureen. <laughs> oh, it's too late to change my answer. Can I go with uh, D? I'm not telling you your business now, but I'd be, I'd be going with T now if it's me. Okay, I'll go with D. It was D. Well, it's well spotted, <laughs> yes. Maureen. He was caught stealing horse shite and selling it in the brown market. <laughs> so he was sentenced... For two weeks in bench. Okay. <laughs> well, that's, that is punishment. Yeah. And they don't have a jail there, aren't they? You just had to live there for two weeks. <laughs> Scan your Barry, man. He's no, he's no Paddy Fong, I'll tell you that. No. Paddy Fong is the real king of the road. Yeah. Loves driving. You know, he drove for Dan for a while and Dan had to band on the road. Yeah. yeah. He loved Kilkenny. Kenny. They thought Dan was real exotic up there, you know. Okay. They wouldn't have acted like him up there. And as Dan used to say about Kilkenny, the town I rode so well. This is Dan Brown line Dan Brown You know what I mean More cracked than a plumber's arse (laughs) (laughs) I went up with him one night I was doing security And this haunty one Comes up to me And she said You know Are are you in the crew (laughs) And I said How are you doing (laughs) You know I had the leather jacket on Yeah of course She she assumed I was in charge You know (laughs) Power play Well She was mad for me And her friend was mad for Dan and she said, do you, do you want a nightcap after the dance? 
And I said, we got in the words of Danny Zuko, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> she says, let's go backstage. Now, now backstage is only for the band. Okay. And the Tay woman. And this one was no Tay woman. <laughs> <say that>. no. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm not in the band, but I can play the flute. Now, as Willie Nelson used to sing, if a bitch get an attitude, pop it while she's hot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and hey... This is Dan Bryan we're talking about. He went to do a Christmas video one time. He thought Lapland was a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't grab me anyway into the toilet. Mm. Well, Jess, wasn't she wearing Kilkenny knickers? Oh, what do you mean? Uh, Kilkenny knickers she was wearing. Black and amber? Yeah. I fucking blew the beans straight away. All over the cubicle. Oh. It was like forgetting to put a cap on a blender. I swear to God, she was everywhere. Jesus Christ. Oh well, I had to win. Yeah. I had to finish first. Yeah. Couldn't let Kenny, Kenny win. <laughs> but uh, this one now, look, not to be casting aspersions on her now or anything, but as Fong would say, she's a bit of a Snow White. Uh, but one woman living in a house with seven small oh, eyes. Okay. That, that was a funny setup, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? That was a funny setup. <laughs> so you're, um, you're one pint each now. I have a tie break question. Oh, very good. The nearest correct answer wins. Uh, how many crows did Sparrow Halley shoot <laughs> last Thursday? <laughs> I'm going to say four. Maureen? I'll go with seven. I'm, I'm surprised you don't sex. You know for a fact it was two. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot about it. You saw the photo. <laughs> I can only do so much for this young fella. <laughs> Sorry, do I win though? I was no! Closest. You said close. Yeah, but still. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I will claim a hollow victory, Noel. Thanks a million. Maureen, commiserations. Um, I don't know whether you were wrong or Hadley's aim is cat, one or the other. <laughs>